Hi, I'm Zach. And you're Brandon. And you're watching Mosh Cam. There was, I mean, our record release show that we did in LA was pretty awesome because it was like, we finally had our record out. It was like a hometown venue called The Echo and all of our friends were there and like, that was actually, there's a, like our video for Wait for the Man, I think is being played in Australia or something. That video is from that show. And so it was just this crazy kind of like, I don't know. It was like a proud moment. We're like, yeah, like all of friends that are there that were like at our very first shows and like they were all stage diving and it was like sold out and we we're just like, oh, this is happening. I think Melbourne was pretty yeah, you, Melbourne, yeah was Melbourne was awesome. pretty crazy just because it was like we've never been to Australia and that was like our first real show. Yeah. And it was like just like first club show. Yeah, these kids just went nuts. It was it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Eat and drink beer out of a shoe. I drink I did my first shoey, I guess this is like See, all right. I was talking <laughs> to these people at the Melbourne show and they were telling me like about this thing called a shoey. It's where you drink out of a shoe. Pour and beer like, into a shoe. And they made it seem like it was like an Australian thing. Like everyone <laughs> does this in Australia. It's like a party thing. It's like shotgunning a beer or something. And then I did it and like the crowd seemed to like it, but everyone else I talked to is like, what? Like I've never heard of a shoe. <laughs> like these kids just like fucking with me or something? <laughs> they just made it up. They're like, yeah, well, you know, everyone does it. And they're just trying to get me and do something stupid. <laughs> Uh, I like playing the song we have called The Punks Are Taking Acid. It's like, it's kind of just like a slow, like heavy kind of song with like most of our songs are really fast and like din -din 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 -din, and that one's like kind of breaks up a little bit, but it still like has a lot of energy. Yeah, I don't know. It's like always fun to play. I like that one too. I also like the... Uh the last song, Wake, Bake, Skate, we usually play. Um, I like jumping in the crowd and singing. <laughs> you guys like to, like Australia really likes to, like to get, in get, there. get your hand right up in the butt crack and just wiggle around. <laughs> that, that's happened at all the Australian shows. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I should stop doing it naked. <laughs> just get like a chastity belt, like the medieval like metal <laughs> underwear. Just kind of, Impenetrable. Some go fist. Yeah, some, some like go some is a hand. finger, but this Sometimes like the, it's the shocker. <laughs> it's you know different. It's a little like just the hole, the splendor in the grass end in Melbourne. It was just like jump into the crowd, and it was just like a whole like hand was just like in my butt crack. Holland uses like a tool, a special spoon that they a bring. corkscrew. <laughs> yeah. Italy is corkscrew. It's like a you know like something you like <laughs> unlock the, car doors with. A, <laughs> what is that called? A what jimmy? is that? A jimmy. No. Slim Jim? Slim Jim. Yeah. You guys like stealing shoes. It's cool. Stealing hats. Yeah, hats got stolen. I got my hat stolen. Melbourne. Then Splendor, like my t-shirt just got tore to shreds. That was cool. I remember when we wrote like our version of Cocaine, it was really fun. Oh like, yeah. Like the original like demo version was, we were in the studio that, that we kind of started the band in where Zach used to work and used to sneak in like after the sessions were done and just get drunk and record. And it was like... Was that? It was so weird. We just like kept... Just got really Because it's like a really simple song. It's like pretty much one chord the whole song. But then we're just like, add something else. <laughs> so we're just like adding as much shit as possible. There's like goat hooves on it. <laughs> yeah. and like weird shit. That was really fun. I can't remember. Was that in Rob's or... No, was at the shit. That was at the was shit, that. okay. Yeah, so we would just like take, I would w record a band during the day and then at, they'd leave at night and I'd call them up and be like, all right, dude, we got a couple hours to record a song just before they come back in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so we'd go so we'd, into like, the sneak studio. In and we'd use their like their setup, sound, you know, like <laughs> they'd have all their gear set up and we'd just play on their <laughs> stuff. We have right. cigarettes on our rider, but we never, never get, get them. Yeah, never get So cigarettes. that's always kind of nice when we do. We're like, oh. Like, I think it's like certain, well, I know in the US, like it's kind of like frowned upon. Like they like 
no one puts cigarettes on their rider because it's kind of just like a weird thing, but... I heard in Mexico, if you put cocaine, you get it. Yeah, our friends mm. played in Tijuana and they like put it as like a joke, I think. Or kind of, or just like... Not really. Yeah, I mean, they did it all. <laughs> I think it was a joke. <laughs> Drink. Yeah, not, that's pretty much it. Drink. Just like. We went around. on. We went on <laughs> tour with the. Our first tour we did was with the Hives in America, and um, they would give us our rider. Like we'd ask for like a bottle of Jameson, you know, every show, and it would get to the point where everybody would just like get out of the van and try to go be the first one to the bottle of Jameson, <laughs> and get like a big glass and just fill it up to the top because like... Yeah, you had to like reserve Yes, you get your reserve, reserve tank drink. of like drinks and... It's oh, pretty no. funny when just like people yell fuck you like yeah. after you say something, it's like... Like, thanks for having us and they're just like, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, like that's they're joking, one. you know, it's not like... It's, they're not saying it in a mean way, but it's just, it's always funny <laughs> to fuck me when you. like people do that. like. Man, you guys are rad. Thanks for having us. Shut up! Fuck you! <laughs> Play! <laughs> like, I always, I always think crack that's up funny. at those. I got robbed oh, yeah. by a like a hooker in <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee that I wasn't like soliciting at all. She like <laughs> broke sure. into our hotel room and like it was five of us in a hotel room and she like barged in and was like we basically got molested by this crazy hooker that like crackhead hooker that broke into our room and then she robbed me and yeah, she, she woke me up took like, his she wallet. stole my wallet she like took off her pants yeah and she was, was like, like booty, booty clapping, clapping and stuff and, and we were just like what is going <laughs> on it's like you know like the ghetto like hip-hop girls will like like shake their butt it's like basically <laughs> they make their butt clap because like their butt is hitting the back of their legs is it that what it is yeah oh, so okay. it's like it's like making like a booty clap <laughs> so that's that was like our first crazy one. and that was before we had ever played a yeah. show on our first tour it was like we were driving to our first show on tour and that happened <laughs> we were like is this what tour is gonna be like <laughs> we're gonna get robbed by hookers all the time Oh, that one kid, there's this one kid in a, um, at our record release show, I remember. He was in the bathroom, I went to the bathroom and he was like, Hey man, do you want to like, you, you want to smoke a bowl, you know? I'm like, yeah, sure, you know? And just like pulls out this like, crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, that kind of bowl. No, you know? I'm good. I actually did it, so. <laughs> Yeah, There's this one kid in Raleigh at our show that like broke his knee. Oh yeah, that was tough. He's good. like this young kid and he like, <laughs> he jumped off the stage or something and like his knee was like out. And he was really bummed. Like, you know, he was just like, oh, man. like couldn't enjoy the show and like his parents had to come and everything. And we like gave him a bunch of free merch because it just, you know, like that's crazy for that to happen. We felt that kind of. and then. I remember he was, his parents got there and he was like, Mom, just buy me some whiskey. Like, I'm in a lot of pain. He's like this 15-year-old kid. And they're like, honey, we need to get you home. And he's like, come on. Buy me some Look whiskey. at my knee. I want some whiskey. And he's just like, it was perfect. Oh, um, there's a couple. Let's, uh, well, on Wikipedia, it says that we're brothers. Oh, we have yeah. the same dad. That's a pretty good one. There's a, actually on the last tour that our, our like friend that was doing merch and kind of like, like our driver merch TM guy is like really into really bad like girl pop music, like current girl pop music. And he'd always play that, um, what, who is it? The I just met you and this is crazy. The call me maybe song. I, oh, Carly yeah, Rae, yeah. yeah she kept playing and like he kept playing it like he'd always play it when after a show when he was driving because he's sober guy like he doesn't drink or do anything else and we'd all be like drunk like just riding around in the van and then I don't know I started liking it like I think we all kind of started like coming around we're like hey Mike play like <laughs> play call me maybe 
So that was, I guess, kind of like a Bohemian Rhapsody moment, but really lame. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. You can watch this on the Mosh Cam. You can watch this on the Mosh Cam. Application. Application. Where, where's Fiddler? Where's Fiddler? Where's Fiddler?